AI transformation and private cellular networks are reshaping the telecom landscape, creating new opportunities and challenges for service providers. Joining us to discuss these critical industry shifts are Amit Leipstein, head of Telco NWE and account executive at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and Alex Quatch, vice president and general manager of Wireline and Core Network Division at Intel Corporation. Welcome to you both. Alex, I'll start with you. How are Intel and HPE collaborating to optimize telco workloads? Uh, you know, partnerships are really critical in the industry. Intel brings out generation on generation innovations in our processors and our CPUs. Uh, and it's critical that these CPUs are integrated into servers that HP brings to market with the right configurations. So there are different types of uh, workload configurations which require sp specific server configurations so that we don't waste time and, and we have the right products uh, to market, uh, whether it's uh, for AI use in, um, in, in telco, um, whether it's for uh, power efficiency, uh, which are absolutely critical, and both have uh, both aspects of these uh, workloads were uh, supported in the Intel Xeon 6, uh, which we announced uh, last week, and with the Intel Xeon 6 with eCores, which we announced uh, last year, uh, that are both available uh, through the HPE systems. So, you know, in HP and Intel, we have uh, many years of collaboration. We've, we've gone through multiple generations. I think that the ecosystem is something that everybody's looking at today. And Intel and HP are one of those examples where we're working for years already together, building infrastructure which is carrier grade, which is a low latency, high performance, driving the business forward, supporting our customers, being the NAPs uh, with the collaborations with Telco Clouds and Telco Blueprints, and uh, also their customers with total cost of ownership and, and other elements. Amit, how do Intel Xeon processors enhance performance for workloads running on HPE platforms? As I said before, you know, when you're looking at the, the telco business, uh, they need something which is, especially today, is very sustainable. Using the, the capabilities that the new Xeon 6 brings into the market, we are building infrastructure which will be more efficient, but will provide the telco grade that we need for powering the networks of the future. <laughs> So Alex, what future innovations can we expect from Intel and HPE to further accelerate workloads? Well, within the core, a major focus, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is about power efficiency. Uh, and so continued focus on providing more capacity, on increasing power efficiency, uh, really starts with the processor, but it just, it literally only starts there because there's so many things that, that can be done between Intel and HPE at the system level as well. Uh, to drive these uh, power efficiencies and capacity gains. The other thing that's, uh, that's really important to service providers is shortening the, the time to market for when the processor launches and the servers are available from HPE commercially in the marketplace. Um, and once these servers are available, there's uh, generally a fairly long validation cycle um, before the service providers can actually adopt these servers. And that's an area that's, uh, you know, Above and beyond all the collaboration that we've done, that's an, another area that we can really focus on shortening uh, along with uh, the uh, telecom equipment manufacturers or the network uh, equipment providers and the service providers. Building on this one, uh, what we're doing with the NEPS, right, is, is building together with Intel something that the NEPS will be taking into the market, which is power efficient using the, the, the next innovations from or the current innovation of Intel. We are building, a, a, or we are investing in AI, AI ops, <clears throat> which will be bringing again a next level of innovation. And I think that one of the parts that we did not touch yet is security. And I think that security is something that HP is, is investing a lot with. Uh, we saw it in the previous generation, will be the next level as well. The whole world is today looking for something which is sustainable and secure, and this is something that we are doing together with Intel. I just wanted to add to, uh, to what Ahmed was saying relative to uh, security. I think traditionally security within the, the telco networks, particularly in the core, has been driven by perimeter-based security, so putting endpoint security uh, capabilities. But increasingly, you know, as the core networks evolve, as we move towards a cloud-native core, additional security uh, measures and capabilities are going to be required. And there, 
your security capabilities that are embedded within the, the processors themselves that are then further unlocked with capabilities that we build within at the system level with, uh, with HPE. So yeah, it's, it's a really good point. Amit, Alex, thank you both for being with us. Thank, thank you. you.